Thank you very much, Kaylin. Inspiration comes in many forms, including books, like the upcoming Writing With My Eyes, Staying Alive While Dying. Angela Parker Brown keeps a smile on her face even as she battles a devastating diagnosis. Here's CTV's Sarah Plowman with the aspiring writer and inspiring human being. <laughs> Every movement requires help, drinking, even exhaling. Angela Parker Brown has ALS. She's paralyzed from the neck down. Her eyes tell another story. They light up when she thinks of her twin daughters or tear up because she's humbled and grateful for this interview. Never in my wildest dreams did I think I would be in this position. That statement has so many connotations. With a computer that tracks her eye movement, she can go online, talk, or write. I have no single reason to be blue today, just little bits of everything I've collected in my mind. It took her just two months to write a book. I wanted to share my journey and how my journey with ALS has come to open my mind to an entirely new world of possibilities. It's hard enough for somebody to write a book themselves, right? But to do it with your eyes, like, it's... Unbelievable. She wrote of her life, how can all take on new meaning in the blink of an eye, like when she was diagnosed four years ago. So even though the physical part changed, inside never changed. Joanne McKnight says her friend has always been a positive person, but she's not only battling the disease, but her fears. I find that the most difficult aspect, thinking that I am not being the mom that I envisioned I would be, in saying that, ALS has changed my life in a sense that I am showing my girls how to live through adversity. Situations change. Let's try our best to make the most of things. Let's do things a different way. So in actuality, in a different way, I have become the mom I envisioned myself to be. Determination that's been noticed with a Queen's Diamond Jubilee pin and scroll. To hear my daughter tell me that she is proud of me is worth it all focused on what she's gained and not what she's lost. Sarah Plowman, CTV News, Truro, Nova Scotia.